You know, we talk a lot here on the channel about teams utilizing the transfer portal to add depth, to add positions of need, but something I found compelling was that whenever the transfer portal window opened for the second time on Saturday, the number one available player in the nation in the transfer portal was a defensive lineman, Bear Alexander, and the number two player in the nation was an offensive lineman, Emmanuel Pregnon. Fast forward to now, and both of those individuals have committed to play the remainder of their college football for the USC Trojans, a massive win for Lincoln. And Riley and something we've got to address. But before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited that Pregnon chooses USC? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below as those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself and both getting picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But having said all that, let's jump right into this. And we talked already about what a big when it was for USC to get Bear Alexander. There's no understating that. We've talked extensively about the biggest need for USC going into next season is defense. I don't think there's anybody, any sane individual out there that would look at USC and say, the offense concerns me. I don't think their offense is going to be good. If someone has that take, I would love to hear why, because personally, I think that USC offense isn't going to drop a beat. I think they could be even better, but that's neither here nor there. Today, we need to focus on the newest edition of USC's transfer portal class because as big of a win as it is to get Bear Alexander and it truly is because he is going to be a difference maker and we even went on to talk about some of the additions USC has made along that defensive front with Anthony Lucas with Braylon Shelby but I digress it is just as important to get this win for Emmanuel Pregnon from Wyoming because this was a guy that a lot of teams wanted out the transfer portal, hence why he was considered the number two available player in the portal. And whenever we look, Wyoming has had some real solid players test the transfer portal over the last few seasons. Texas fans will be the first to tell you their excitement for Isaiah Nayor, and they're really hoping he puts together a big season, and I must admit, I'm really excited to see what he's going to be able to do with the Longhorns and all the weapons Steve Sarkeesian and Quinn Ewers have at their disposal. But what does this mean for USC? When we look what it means for their transfer portal acquisitions class for the class of 2023, this puts the USC Trojans as the number two transfer portal acquisition class in the nation, and there's a lot to like. Specifically, I think anytime you can bolster your offensive line, you've got to feel good about doing so, especially when the individual you bring in is an interior offensive lineman that stands six foot six, 318 pounds. Because one thing we need to acknowledge, USC probably has the number one pick in the draft right now. I say probably very loosely. I can't imagine a situation where Caleb Williams does not go number one next year. But if you're able to add in more guys that you feel like can play winning football up front to protect him, that's only going to be better for him and the USC offense as a whole. One thing that's super intriguing about Caleb Williams is that if you're an opposing defense, it's real hard to game plan for him. Do you want to keep him in the pocket where he has the arm talent to make all the throws, or do you try and get him out the pocket and make him uncomfortable? Personally, I've always been of the mindset, you kind of have to pick your poison and go with the lesser of two evils, and I would much much rather have him stay in the pocket because when he breaks from the pocket now you have to deal with not only his arm you have to deal with his legs you have to deal with the uncertainty and what I mean when I say that and I know we're getting a little bit off topic but I'm having fun allow me this the uncertainty that he presents is will he run it or will he throw it that kills a defense. Your safety is covering USC's tight end. Caleb Williams breaks from the pocket, starts rolling out right and you as a safety have to make the decision. Do I step forward and address the run? Or do I stay on this tight end? If I stay on this tight end, Caleb Williams will just take off and he can score. He has got that athletic ability. If I blow the assignment, if I leave the tight end and go to address the quarterback that's running, he's just going to pop it right over my head. He makes defenses make uncomfortable choices. Unfortunately for opposing defenses, if USC continues getting additions, such as Emmanuel Pregnon, you might keep him in the pocket, but it might be a real clean pocket. This is a big addition. Getting in linemen, such as Emmanuel Pregnon, that makes transitioning from one running back to a new younger running back all the easier allowing them to have clean pockets clean lanes to dictate where they're going to attack 
that's a compelling factor. At the end of the day, this is a big win for USC, and they've been real active in the transfer portal. Ranking second in transfer portal acquisitions and getting some big wins that are going to come in day one and make a difference for the Trojans. I'm super interested to see what the future holds for USC, and I'm really excited for the season to get here so we can see how these additions have helped improve the Trojans. But I can't wait to hear from y'all. Hop down to the comments, let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See ya.